And that is one very well achieved artist, one that would always talk about when we talk about art in Nigeria. They say that art is life, and I totally agree with this. Because art is life, we're moving on from having a conversation with an older artist to a younger and an aspiring um, genius in her own art lane. Her name is Angela S.O. She is a student of architecture, and she's also studying to, to basically improve her skill in arts. It's good to have you, Angela. Thank you Welcome, very much. Angela. Thank you. So you're studying architecture, but you're also an artist. Yes, I am. So tell us about what kind of art you do and why you chose to study architecture. Okay, well, I do paintings, drawings, and um, mostly low-relief art. Um, I study architecture because I think architecture and art are very related. Like, as a child, you say you like architecture or you like arts. The one thing they push you to is architecture. My granddad, my family members are architects as well. So it's so. safe to say that you were highly influenced by the by family. family members because yes. you probably could have just started to study art alone. I could have. But uh, in Nigeria, you know, it's the medicine, architecture, engineering background that they send you towards. But I love architecture as well. Okay, so when you say low relief art, what does that mean? So art that doesn't come out of the surface really. Okay. So um, with sculpture, you could have like the all round sculpture that you see, or you could have things that um, are, that pop out just a bit. Okay. Like high, a bit more bass relief. Oh, okay. How, how basically are you able to juggle being a student of architect and also improving your art, doing your art? How are you able to juggle both? Well, up until now, architecture has been um, my means of doing art. Because in terms of time, you just don't have as much time to do both. So with my work, and I go to a school of arts, so with my work, I'm allowed to be as expressive as I can be. Um, so up until now, art was more of a hobby. And I'm trying to express and show people now what it is I've been up to for the last couple of years. And you're undertaking a course in art in the University of Glasgow. No, I take a course in architecture. In architecture. But it's a school of arts. Okay. So they teach it in a more um, expressive way than an engineering way. Okay. Now I want to ask you, because you're schooling in you know, Glasgow, and I'm wondering, what's the acceptance of arts like over there? And what's it like over here? Because basically, you're a mixture of both worlds now. So let's do some sort of comparative analysis mm -hmm. of how it is done here in Nigeria and how it's done over there. Well, in Glasgow, uh, Glasgow is actually an art city. So it's really pretty. You have paintings everywhere, museums everywhere. Um, I think the one difference would be that it's a lot more um, systematic. You have to be someone and you rise through the ranks before people see your work. So I actually prefer the way art is done in Nigeria because everyone is allowed to be anyone. You could be in traffic and you see a painting by someone who you don't know, but you take it home anyway because you vibe with it. So I feel like art should always be free for all and everyone should be allowed to express themselves as opposed to having to go through an agent or a certain hierarchy before you get to be seen. So how have you been able to sell African culture through your arts mm -hmm. in Glasgow? Well, in Glasgow, I haven't done any um, exhibitions as such, but um, in terms of, I think maybe A-levels would have been the one time where I did that. Um, all my art pieces were, actually, they're some of the pieces that you've seen today, and it was me being able to express what I was feeling at the time. It wasn't consciously deciding to do African art, but at that time, that was when the Chibok girls were taken. So a lot of the pieces you see are inspired by that feeling or that emotion at that time. It's beautiful, Angela, that you're still studying and you're giving the opportunity, you're allowed, you've taken, <laughs> you've given yourself the chance to be able to express your talents and your desires in the best way that you can. Now, the question is, when you're done with school, what next? Which area, which path? Are you pursuing? Both. Or are you, sorry? Both. Perfect. <laughs> Let no one tell you you can't do all that you want to do and yeah. you can't be all that you want to be. Now, when you look at arts in Nigeria, I, I know I like that you also mentioned that anybody can be anybody. Like you can express yourself as much as you want with art in Nigeria. If there's some things you'd like us to do better with regards to our art here in Nigeria, mm. what would they be? I think it would be the same thing in terms of accessibility. It's easy to see someone's painting on the road. And most of the time, these are really good paintings. I have no idea like how much they're sold for in terms of the value people place on them. Whereas if you went to ArtX or any, ex any other exhibition, you see paintings that are millions of um, Naira worth. I sometimes wonder, is the worth based on talent or is it based on the name? Mm. So. I think that would be the same, the same struggle, just getting everyone the same equal opportunities based on value out of actual expression as opposed to value based on 
popularity. Do you plan to encourage arts in Nigeria? Definitely. How do you plan to do that? Well, for example, I launched 423 in Nigeria because as a conscious decision. Um, I'm an artist myself, but um, I love looking at other people's art and looking at people my age, what they do. Instagram is the best place actually to see art. You see everyone who's doing what they're good at. Um, I'm an open person. One of the visions of 423 or one of our values is open-heartedness. Um, I love to share other people's work. So if anyone has anything that they want to share, then I'm willing. All right, then. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, Angela. So we wish you all me. the best Thank in your you. career path. Thank I you. I look forward to having you again when you're done with school. Thank you. And, you know, being a part of your journey. Basically. Thank you so much. You can follow Angela on social media at 423 underscore sales and get to see her work and interact with her. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.